Hey guys, it's the Agro Kid coming at you today with another video. In this one, I'll be doing the next three United States challenges. And we're gonna start with Virginia. So, play as the British on the map, New England. Um, so, I'm gonna show you like the uh, easiest way to complete those challenges and the fastest way. So, first, we're gonna start with this one. And says play on New England with Brit so it's already set up so all you gotta do is play and once you're in the game just resign because you'll have played the game pretty much but you just gotta make sure that you resign and don't like just quit so resign first then quit so this one's super easy and as you can see I've completed it already so that's like the fastest way to do it next one is New York build a fort playing as the Dutch mm, okay so for this one just make sure you have a fort in your deck all right guys so I put the fort in my deck so now we can start it click begin um, for this one you probably yeah you want to be at least in fortress age I'll put post imperial though because you're gonna gather your resources much sooner and faster because you have um, all your upgrades, even the one from the market. So put it at post imperial, uh, speed fast, saves time, and you can even put this at high. So your starting resources will be high, so you have more resources to start the game with. So that's like a new thing indeed, that's pretty cool too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess New England is fine, you can start the game. So it won't take long. Pretty much all you gotta have is a shipment. Okay, that's odd. So for some reason, when I put um, the crates at high for the start instead of stand, uh, standard, they don't appear. Um, so I guess you can't put them at high. Just leave them at standard and this works well. So pretty much all we gotta do is have a TP. So I mean, we're gonna try to get some XP. Here we go, TP right here, build that. It's, uh, the speed is fast, so I'm gonna get my XP even faster. And we just gotta have the one with the fort. So I'm gonna send in this. Also, make sure to put post imperial. Uh, the reason being that you're gonna gather your wood much faster since you have the capital upgrade, which, uh, makes you gather your wood 50% faster. And here we go, Let's put this. And I think there's a mode you can have your shipments faster. I don't know if it's deathmatch. Anyways, if it's the case, I guess you can play deathmatch just because you're gonna get your fort uh, faster. But I mean, it's not a big deal. Now you just build build it um, and once it's done well you should be done the challenge and it should be completed so I'm gonna meet you uh, back when it's almost done alright guys so the fort is almost done and now it's built so once you've built the fort just resign before quitting and now you can quit so we've done two of the three challenges for today and now we have North Carolina. Research all available technologies of a native settlement. Okay, I know what that is. So that is um, the trading post with the natives. So you gotta just research all of their technologies. Now I'm not like, I don't know much about the natives. But I mean, this seems like a good map, but I don't know like what's the uh, cheapest upgrades to, to get from natives and all that. So. There's probably a really good map for this one. I'm just not sure which one. But this seems pretty good. It's a uh, Cascade range. Yeah, th that seems like a really good map because you have four uh, TPs. And I think, okay, you can see here uh, the settlements. It says Klamath and Nootka. Those are a bit expensive. So you just want to make sure to put a map that as cheap upgrades. I, I'll pick Decon because actually you have the yeah the Bhakti those are cheap I'm pretty sure. So let's let's try Decon. And 
and just make sure your game speed is at fast standard so it works post imperial so you get your wood quicker i'll play friends because they gather their resources faster and you can start all right so as you can see i did not complete this challenge on my first attempt and i'll explain to you why so the reason I didn't complete this challenge was because I was post-imperial, so the native warrior society and champion natives upgrades were already registered, but I was supposed to register them myself in the challenge, so that's why I couldn't complete it. So let's just take Yukon because I'm sure the um, trees are pretty cheap. Alright, we'll try that again. But this time industrial age so I can actually get all the upgrades. What's that? Okay, Kreez, yeah. Pretty sure they have cheap upgrades. So yeah, these are the upgrades I was talking about. You have to get those as well. Okay, so I'll need coin and not food. I mean, I guess if I don't need any food, let's make builds. And I mean, you can get treasures, I guess. Let's just send in 10 bills. So yeah, you have this upgrade which is really cheap. 100 food, 100 coin. I guess this one is quite expensive. I mean... Um, the native upgrades are pretty much all expensive, so like, doesn't matter too much, I guess, the sit, uh, like, uh, the map you play on. Alright, so then we just need to upgrade, um, to get this upgrade, and then the one after that, and then we're done. No point sending your shipments. And I have enough points, so all on wood. And then we're done. Once we get that. So I guess it's a bit slower because you're not post-imperial. So like you your wood gathers 50% slower. But I mean you still um complete the challenge in five minutes. I mean it's decent. They're about 5 minutes always the last one, so it's fine, it's average time. But make sure to resign, and then quit. And yeah, now it's completed because I actually did this. Um, I researched all the technologies, including the one that upgrades your troops, your natives. Now, I think this one will be for the next video, because I can only do 3 per day. Build a factory as a French, British, or Portuguese. So that's quite easy as well, because all you have to uh, do is be at um, Post Imperial, and then you'll be able to send in that factory and uh, build it. So probably take France. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess France is better just because you'll gather. You have you start with 200 wood, so then you can make your train post. But anyways, this will be for the next video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.